Hi everyone, how are you? Thanks for watching my video. Today I would like to show you how to destroy and how to create a game object using C sharp script when you click, uh, sorry, when you press a key on your keyboard. So let's start. First we will create a cylinder and we will reset the transform values it will be exactly in the center and the next thing we will create a queue again we will reset it now both of these objects have the same values now we will create a prefab of our cube and then we will delete our cube now we only have the cylinder in the center of our uh, scene view and our cube is just a prefab the next thing we need to do is to create a C sharp script. We will just name it test this time and we will open the script in mono behavior. Okay, now here we will uh, write if get key, sorry, input that get key uh, it is better not to use the get key just use get key down or get key up because if we use the get key it will uh, and we uh, while we hold down the key it will uh, before we release the key it will um, keep creating the objects many times so we just want it to be created just once not many times of the object so let's use get key down and then open this and uh, key code uh, dot mm, space close it now open the if and here uh, okay before we write it we need to get the variable that we want to delete and initialize so we we'll write public game object and uh, not this one but game objects yes uh, game um, object bg uh, one and public game object game oh bj2 so the first one that we want to uh, like uh, get is the one that we are going to initialize and the second one is the one that we are going to delete so for that purpose we will uh, come here and we will write uh, instant okay instantiate so you, you should use instantiate in, in order to create or initialize the uh, game object in our scene view because it's a prefab so we will write game object one and close it and semicolon and while we create this we will destroy the cylinder in our game view so this Destroy game object two. Okay. Oh, sorry. Okay. Save the script. Everything is fine. Let's go back. Um, we don't have any error. Okay. Now, in order to uh, like uh, connect our script into our scene we need to have a, an empty game object and name it like a scene manager and we will drag the script here uh, since we have two public vari variable if you, if you remember the first uh, like uh, one was the one that we create and the second one was the one that we destroy so we we want to initialize the queue because it's a prefab we want it to come in our game view 
but we want this cylinder to disappear and destroy from our game so we will drag the cylinder here uh, we will save it we will save our scene you can save it from here and then let's run the game okay now we see the cylinder here we need to press space we will press space and it will create this uh, cube clone for us it uh, clones the cube prefab in our uh, hierarchy if you press again you can see that it creates another cube clone you don't see it in our scene uh, game view because uh, it has the same uh, transform values and uh, it just creates on each other so we don't exactly see it but it is here we can see that the many times you press the space key it will cre uh, clone the prefab as many times as you press the key thanks uh, for listening bye